Wamasai ni watu wenye amani na wanyama kwa sababu wamekaa nao kwa muda mrefu. Isipokuwa wanyama hawana amani na watu. Kinyesha zaidi watu wamenyamaza kwa manyumba. Wanapenya kwa maboma, wanakula, wanaua. Mimi nimepoteza zaidi ya yani mbuzi 128. Tunapata uadibifu wa wanyama wetu. Hakuna chochote, unaenda asara, mnyama anaenda porini. When we came in to Kajiado in the year 2014, we found the predators, mainly lion, cheetahs, would invade the manyatas and attack their livestock. As a result, the community who felt a bit unprotected by this would try to retaliate. In most cases, they will, they will kill lions. Our lion population has dropped to about 2,000 individuals in Kenya. Between 1998 and 2003, we lost 58 lions out of Nairobi National Park. In this particular area, in a span of five years, 25 lions were also shot in an area of about uh, spanning 100 kilometers. And we found that human wildlife conflict, human predator conflict was the biggest issue. So we had to come up with a way to stop the conflict in order to deal with the retaliation. Flashing lights do actually deter predators and they also deter crop raiding animals. The thinking was to bring in the solar predator deterrent as a means of combating a wildlife problem using renewable energy. And that is where we came up with our own lion light system using LED bulbs, normal solar batteries and a solar panel. The Wildlife Foundation had already started some pilots and uh, the results were encouraging and we felt we could come in and offer some support. We started working with WWF in 2014 and they agreed to give us uh, some funding and in the space of between December 2014 and to date we have installed 105 households. We also decided to do a household unit which was included in the package to provide lighting especially for the children doing their homework. Since then we have seen marked improvement for example in academic standards. We have seen less hassle for the women. They do not need to buy kerosene and also the effects on their health from the smoke of the kerosene are now less. We have also seen the uptake of the predator deterrent systems. More people are coming to us for them. Tangu tupate tuweka mata au project ianze mwaka 2015. Hatujapata tena uharibifu. Tuna usalama hata uzingizi ninakuwa nikilala kwa sababu nyakati zile zote nilikuwa nalinda boma usiku wote. Ikinyesha, isiponyesha ni kuinche tu. Well, the success, I uh, think if I may rate it, is uh, almost 100%. Because locations where we've installed uh, these deterrent lights, we have not had even a single repeat case. A study is done in Amboseli show that if you installed a household with predator lights, in whichever household that is within eyesight, the predators will avoid. And the reduction in prediction and conflict has created a positive attitude within the community. We are finding communities who were very quiet about poaching, today reporting poaching. Now, what that has uh, come on to in real terms is that we have more zebras, uh, they're able to give birth, we have more wildebeest, and this actually comes up to a better prey base for the predators. We have not had lions here for the last 80 years. Uh, early 2015, we got a pride of lions who are now living here and reproducing. Our cheetah numbers have uh, stabilized and all this is because the communities are not killing them or blocking them. We see a potential for this and we see the willingness of the community also to pay in the long term for this technology. And so we are coming up with an impact venture, a kind of a social enterprise that involves the community. We are planning to work with uh, women groups in particular as the key marketers and distributors. In the process, they also earn some income. But also we intend to work with the youths. So in case of any repairs or, or maintenance issues, we'll have the technology transferred to them. And so moving forward, um, that is going to be very sustainable because this project has really demonstrated the importance of renewable energy, especially in Kenya, where we have abundant uh, sunlight, wind, 
that uh, energy goes beyond just providing the usual energy services. It can also help us to meet some of our social challenges.